Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Airport CEO. So, let's see what we're doing here. If you read the uh, description below and were tuned in the other day, you know that uh, we're working on Dallas Love Field, model of Dallas Love Field. Uh, and I wasn't terribly thrilled with how things started off the other day. I started on the east side of the airport, started working my way to the middle, and bought the bottom right quadrant of the four quadrants on the map. You get the bottom left, and then the others are like $750,000, which I had a big chunk of change out of money. Wasn't happy with that. Uh, I went back to uh, work on it, and um, redid it from the start, and then realized, wait a minute, I'm still not, maybe I should pull up like the uh, satellite imagery <laughs> of the airport and see if I can do it kind of right. Oh. We should start at the left and work our way across. That would be smart. So uh, I went back a second time today and have done so. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, uh, I'm not going to pull up the imagery and put it on the video because I don't want any stupid copyright crap from Google because you know they're the worst in the world. Um, go to Google Earth or Google Maps and pull up satellite imagery of Dallas Love Field, KDAL. And um, you'll see uh, how the runway, uh, how the airport's set up now. Uh, the runways run 3113, okay? So they run northwest to southeast. And, uh, yeah, today at 501. Yeah, we can't get passengers, and that's fine, because we don't have passenger service. All right, so uh, we talked about this the other day when we were working on it. And um, we, um, I was outlining the roads that surround the airport. Mockingbird Road runs across the south side. Lemon Avenue runs up the east side. It's Denton Drive that runs up the west. And then after you cross Bachman Lake at the north end, you have Northwest Highway, Loop 12. All right. So we started in the bottom left corner of the map. Then we have established the first of our two runways. Of course, in the game, they're going to be 3618. In real life, they would be 3113. Uh, so we're going to do what we, you know, have to do within the realm of the game. What we have is a short uh, basic runway. It is a, a concrete runway. So I upgraded it not to asphalt, but to concrete because Love Field has concrete runways. So we've done that. Uh, we set up a, a parallel taxiway. I've tried to kind of make the spacing right so I've got a little more than the width of the runway here for spacing out to the taxiway uh, more will be added later when we extend the runway further north and we purchase this section and then we'll start building up that way to start adding in the the, the main terminal stuff now we're going to have to do a little bit of work within the confines of the game regarding the terminal because it is not perpendicular to the runways. I it, so if these are the runways and they're three one one three, it runs at an angle like this. It's almost like the the uh, it's almost like it's parallel. Uh, it, it runs east west faces and main part of it faces north. Uh, I'd have to look at the. Well, let me just look at that. Duh. I've got uh, Google Earth pulled up over here. Okay. So now if I spin this around to where we're facing due north. Yes, indeed. Okay. So the terminal at Love Field, uh, okay, at least the air side of it, right? The, the terminal buildings themselves kind of form a, a curve, right? Part of them face northeast. The main center core faces north, uh, and then part faces northwest. And then there's a connection that goes out to the actual terminal or concourse. Um, which runs east-west. Most of the gates are on the north side. There's a bunch on the south side and a couple off from each end. All right. So we're going to be trying to replicate that uh, as best we can within the confines of the game. But we're going to wind up because, you know, again, the runways only run two ways, either north, south, or east to west. Uh, we're going to wind up twisting that, bending it like Beckham, and we're going to have it so that the, the terminal runs uh, east-west this way like it does in real life. So it's actually the runways that are going to be out of sync with reality. 
okay? The terminal building itself, at least the, con the main concourse, uh, after you leave the actual terminal building, I guess, um, I'm trying to get my phraseology correct here, uh, will be prototypical. So, uh, if you're watching, check in with your local airport code, say hello, don't be bashful. And uh, so here's what we got. We got some GA action going here. And uh, we're doing okay. We, we only spent like $1.2 million to get things set up. Not quite $1.2 million. And um, we have a bunch of GA ramps. Because this section of the airport, if you stretch this out to be the, the left, the west, the west runway, all right, there is a GA area here. General Aviation. Uh, it is jets. It looks like it's a charter area. So what I'm thinking here is we may make a change real quick to uh, how this is set up. And uh, what I may do is change these uh, stands out for medium stands. You know what? I don't have to do that. I can use small stands and still bring in commercial planes. Yeah. Yeah. We can do that, A train. Yeah. Stuff. Okay, so we may well do that. Uh, let me pick up the speed here. We're doing okay on money. We're losing a little bit here and there. I mean, but uh, you see our rating is average. All right, look, there was a big bump. All right, as planes come in and take off and land, we've got two fuel trucks running. Uh, we've got our aviation fuel, or not aviation, well, our av gas uh, going here. Our vehicle uh, building down here. Our access gate here, so everything runs up this way. Um, these gates, or these uh, stands are served up this side. Yeah, I know, they're grass. But grass is, they're $20,000 as opposed to $60,000. So if I were to upgrade this stand, see, upgrade is going to cost $40,000. So either way you slice it, it's going to cost $60,000 to get there. Okay. We got two fuel trucks running. Uh, we got a uh, ATC tower over here with a weather station. Okay. So, kind of happy with how this sets up. That said, um, I think we could build a small terminal here. And these would basically be charter planes coming in and out. And we could make some money with that. Now, I'm wondering if we build it right here. Will people be able to just walk right out across the um, the dealy bop over to um, must be placed on top of road? I think they could. I think if we put terminal space right here. Ah, shoot! Something. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. Okay, I've got these um, lights here. All right, let me, let me get rid of those lights then. That's easy enough. Now I'm going to have to bring in some contractors because I sent all the contractors back home. Do, 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 do. Let's get that out of the way. And sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. Let me bring in a couple of contractors. Uh, let's get uh, five of them or so. Uh, we got a full staff. Went ahead and got everybody hired in. So I've got... Everybody taken care of. I uh, took care of the um, the uh, stupid uh, spam filter thingy right away. So I managed to avoid uh, getting any uh, spam from that prince. And Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let me turn that off so we don't have to hear it. Okay. So, um, 
Yeah, I'm just, I'm wondering, if, I think we can do this with the small stands. That said, I would, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be $240,000 to upgrade those. Now, we're up to 867. I think we've made, I think we're making some money here. And this is good. Money is good. I like money. Uh, let's, okay, so on the prototype, there are hangar facilities, or there's buildings here. All right, I think there are hangars. We're going to act like it's a, it's a small terminal because they will have people come in and out uh, of that uh, of the area. Now, that said, I wonder how I should set this up. Maybe we just try... So we got what six? We got six here. All right, we got the service road. I'm just wondering if I need room for sidewalk. Is there sidewalk? There's walls. There's flooring. Yes, there is sidewalk. Car stops. Blah blah. Bus stops. Airside shuttle bus stops. Okay, we got that covered. Crosswalks. Oh, here's sidewalks. Yeah. All right. So in theory, sidewalks would go like along here. All right. So let's just um, let's kick it here and just roll with. Whoa! Load up. Let's go a hundred thousand dollars. That's pretty, pretty big. I don't think we're going to need something that big. Then again, we do have to deal with uh, security and things of that nature, like information desks, check-in desks, security check-ins, uh, small size. Let's see. Okay, so that's very small. Huh. Very small. Let's go small and see if we can keep it small, and then we'll build, we'll expand from there. All right, that's the plan. So we'll go with the center two for now. Um, eight, eight by ten. Eight by ten, is that too big? Seven by ten. Let's build that and then we'll um, we'll work it from there. Alright? So back to operations, let's get our contractors, let's deploy uh, another ten. I'll give us sixteen. Oh shoot. I just deploy 11 contractors. Uh, actually, I'm going to take it up by... Let me see. Uh, deployed contractors 50, available 58. Huh? I think I just goofed something up. I think I just threw them for a loop because they deployed... They got picked up. They're deploying. They're getting picked up. <laughs> Can't decide what they're doing. Yeah. All right. We're getting the work done. That's that's what that's what's important here. Okay. We are going to have to extend that road up that way. So let's look at extending the road. And if we're going to extend the road, let's see what we can do here. I have uh, service car stops facing downward. Like a couple of those. And then maybe a bus lane. And that would be... Oh, that's airside shuttle bus. Bus stop. So put like a bus stop here. 
two airside. Yeah, and then we can reposition stuff as needed. Okay, so we're going to put... That there. Car stop. Service car stop. Oh, I only need service car stop. I need this car stop. Okay, so there's our reference point. Now, that said, let's get this, and let's see if we can make some changes to the road network here just a little bit. Because now cars are trying to get to a place where there is no where for them to get to, right? All right, so we're going to shift this over. Holy crap, there's a crap ton of contractors standing around. Uh... Dismiss all contractors. And then I'll bring them back in here in a minute. Okay. That's the idea. All right. Uh, I want to see if we can get one lane roads going out of this deal. Because this... I think that'll work, though. Um, let me run up to here. And then run over here. And run up here. I don't know. If anybody plays this and knows a better way to do this, feel free to chime in on the chat. And let me know. Help your brother out. Okay. That should do that. Now, all right, let's go back and get the contractors. All right, we're going to deploy uh, 20 contractors. Deploy. Not deploy all. That's what screwed me up last time. So 20 contractors get this stuff uh, cranking here. Oops, we got some people stuck in the building. Sorry, dudes. Uh, terminal. Doors. Large size, medium quality. How big is this door? Alright, there's door. Now you guys can leave. Get out. Uh, terminal bulldozer. Don't need that. Uh, we need this and need this. Oops. We'll go here like this. And then here like this. Okay. Cool. Now things are happening. Alright. This is good. So, uh, we're going to need a couple of doors. Oh, that's a window. Shoot. Did I seriously build a... Really? I built a window. I was dumb. An idiot. <sighs> Sorry, dude. Again, I screwed the pooch. It's a door. That's what I need there. It's a door. In fact, we're going to put two doors. We're going to put one here and one here. Alright, now the executives have finally shown up. This is good. And then I think we're going to put a door here and a door here. Serve those couple of gates. Okay, so that's that's the plan there. Now, we know we're going to have to create security. Oh, that area is secure. This is good. All right. And we got security fence there. We'll deal with that in a minute. Now, we'll go ahead and upgrade this stand to asphalt. There we go. So those look fancy now. Nice. All right. Now, we've got to set up... Why has this not been demolished yet? Uh, okay. Weather's starting to dry up. Well, that's good. It's starting to dry up here, too, except tomorrow we got more rain coming in. Uh, all right. I need... Get the save done. Let's get desks and 
we're going to need a check-in desk and a boarding desk. Okay, so now, yeah, that's awful big. Gosh. Let's be placed inside secure zone. Ah, uh, okay. So one step at a time. Let's get a couple check-in desks made. Um, to save length, we'll set these up over here. we can do that and then uh, build a wall like this okay and then we're going to uh, we're going to set up some bathrooms over here so we'll do that in a minute now let's look at the security deal uh, we need a security checkpoint Small size, medium quality, medium size, medium quality. We don't need that faint. We're going to go simple. Okay, must be placed inside secure zone, of course. All right, so let's secure zone this area here. And this here. And this here. Okay, now, why is this guy still stuck? Why have we not... Ugh. Okay, we're building stuff. We haven't yet knocked out this window. Did I just cancel? I'll like mark, mark for demolish. Okay. Uh, okay, so now, security, small, or medium quality. All right. There we go. So we can put that there. And... We will put one there for now. Save room for a second one. And then uh, we will put the security exit there we go. So that gives us room for two small security stations. Right? I kind of want it separate though. Advanced security exit. Okay. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah. Let's do that. Trolley man. Hello. How are you doing? Good to see you. Appreciate you being here. All right. Large door. Let's put this here and here. Okay. So a couple large doors. Uh, we're going to need some security personnel. We will extend this queue. See ready and loud person types of toggle passengers, toggle employees, build the queue. Uh, uh, again, we're going to save a little bit of space there. Okay, so we're going to set that up. We're not expecting having a lot of people. How many of these? One security employee. All right. Let's go hire us a security personnel. Let's hold up for a minute. What are we looking at money-wise? We're doing pretty good money-wise, I think. Uh, okay, filter by Securita. We have no Securita. Why do we have no applicants? Applicants. Oh, there we go. I wasn't hitting the right button. That's why. Doofus. Du -du 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 Star Trek doofus. Uh, okay. She sucks. She don't look terribly impressive. She does not manage stress well. Uh, Mary Harris seems to manage stress well. And then Olaf Carlson. I'm going to hire them two for now. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay. So uh, now we've got a new uh, person there. Now we're going to need a couple of staff people. So let's see here. She doesn't look terribly good. Neither does she. Uh, this guy looks like he's pretty, pretty smart. 
Sonny Vandenberg. Vandenberg. Magda Lewandowski. Where's Magda from? Katowice. I believe that's Poland. Eindhoven. Ooh. Oh, you're so hired. Why is she hired? Because she's from Eindhoven, a eh, train. Read the history of Operation Market Garden. And watch Band of Brothers. Well, okay, let me look this up before I lie to you. Uh, I'm doing well. Thank you, Trolley Man. Appreciate you, uh, appreciate you asking. Uh, Eindhoven. I can't remember if the 101st... I think the 82nd was supposed to go into... Market Garden, Eindhoven. Ah, uh, jeez. All right, let me look here. Hundred first. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Eindhoven was um, 101st Airborne. The 82nd was at Nijmegen. That's what it was. Yeah. That's right. Anyway, so she's from Eindhoven, so I that's that's cool. It's casual. I like it. All right. So uh, that's awesome. All right. Now let's. Uh, we need a couple staff people. She does. Magda. It's not terribly good technically. Uh, Inga. Yeah. No, you're cheap, but you suck. Lisa may be worse though. At least Lisa's a little bit pleasant. Technically and logically, she just ain't the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. So let's reject her. Gabriel, you don't impress me much either. Reject her. Let's keep this moving so we'll get more employees, applicants. Good God. Uh, this, she doesn't manage stress well. She wants 10.30 an hour. This guy doesn't do... He's, he at least has logic skills. All right. Magda's looking like a pretty good hire, except she's expensive. Now, this chick is not good service, not good stress management. Let's, we want to dump a couple of these to open things up. Now, she's good, except her technical skill sucks. Did I hire two people? I have two. That's that. I think that's going to be enough for now. All right. So we got a couple security types. This is good. Uh, we could use uh, a, a few more things. All right. We got a few more things to do here. Uh, this includes. Uh, let's see. Desks. Uh, oh, information screens. Information screens are good. But let's not put them in the way. Whoops. Get out the way, get out the way, move, B, get out the way. All right, that's facing down, left, up, right. Um, do we want to, to, to put this back here? Oh, let's put that right there. That'll work. Um, all right, look, hang on, that's getting funky. Let's do this. It's just item position not valid. Let's just build a... Straightforward queue line for that, and there we go. All right, that should uh, square those away. Now, I, I I see Z snoozing over there, jerks. Um, let me do this. This just seems logical. That, you know, that, that there, that there, that there, that there. Okay, now, over here, let's, um, we need some bathroom space. That said, let's see how much space we're going to need. 
right, so like three toilets and three sinks and then like a wall and then two toilets and a couple sinks in the urinal. I think we can do a little bit better than that. A little bit better than that. I think, uh, you know what we could do is put them along this wall here. I almost feel like I need to push this wall back. Let's do this. Let's build this wall here. Okay. Build this wall here. Build the wall. And then we will tear down this wall, Mr. Gorbachev. There. I like that better. I like when the, the security kind of, you know, lines up and stuff. It kind of makes sense. And it could probably be better. It could probably be even further back. But uh, for now, that opens up just a little more space out here. Of course, I'm pretty sure it's not going to let me build a toilet. i got to build a, a bathroom space. All right. So we're going to go four. Uh, yeah, four by four. And we could do... Approaching in from odd angles here, if I did it back to back, all the plumbing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so four that way, wall, two, three, four this way. All right, and then we'll put wall outside this. Okay, so let's now build walls around it, walls in it. Uh, four on each side, that'll do. Now we're going to mirror that over here. Okay. And then that'll be the secure area bathroom. Okay, then we need doors. Small side, low quality. All right, rotate, and we're going to put a door... Oh, you idiots. Of course you got stuck inside the space, because that's what you do. Okay. Alright, now I think we are cooking with gas. Alright, so we'll do the... Um, let's see. Um split this. So we'll do one ladies room and one men's room. Yeah. Holy poop. Oh man. I dinked this up. Doggone it. Alright, hold up. I gotta go back and demolish all this. I made it too deep. This here, that there, that there, and that there. Okay. Then we gotta put the small door in there. Alright, there we go. Now, that should rectify the situation. So that's gonna be the women's room on that side, then we're gonna have to walk a little deeper this way. Boop, boop. Urinals. Dip, dip, dip. Sinks, okay. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. I know this is a lot. It seems like a lot of. Um, okay, now. It seems like a lot of uh, facilities for something this small, but uh, when we expand it, you know, this will still serve. I mean, we, we're looking at possibly up to six gates here. All right, so now, I uh, need, need an attached boarding desk. Oh, boarding desk. Good point. Uh, yeah, we got to get to that. All right, first off, though, let's, let's get these bathrooms identified. This is going to be a female restroom. And then this is a male restaurant. Okay, so we're gonna open it. This should be a 
female restroom. Oh, poop. I've got it all as one zone, don't I? That's the problem. All right. Um, how do I get rid of the zoning? How do I get rid of the zone? Yeah, see, I need to... Somebody help a brother out here. How do I de-zone? Oh, wait. Maybe this is it. Get rid of zones. I need some help here, people. No, they're not helping me out. I think I'm just going to have to bulldoze this wall. Go back, rebuild the wall, and then mark. Then I'll have two separate zones. I think that's how it will work. Um, I think. Now, why haven't the staff people gone to these desks? Okay, got that taken care of. So now let's look at let's look at the zones. It still shows frickin' one big zone. build a wall in the middle. Will that eliminate the... Will that split the zone? Alright, that said, this is easy. Alright, so over here we can make this. That's male. Open. This is female. Open. Right, so that's good. Got that part figured out. Okay, now we'll come back to the whole stupid thing in a minute. Check-in desks, boarding desks. Okay. So we need a boarding desk uh, over here. I don't want it right in front of the door. And then we'll put one. Oh crap, that goes right. Ooh. That's not convenient at all, is it? Damn it. This bathroom situation is not convenient at all. I think we're going to have to do a little work there. Huh. Okay. All right. Let's put those boarding desks there, and then let's just rip this whole bathroom deal out. Somebody or something is stuck in the wall. All right. So we're going to just rip all this schmutz out and try to get this right. So if anybody has, anybody can tell me how to unzone. That would be swell. I'd appreciate that. Meanwhile, toggle the taxiway nodes. Let's toggle the taxiway nodes. Toggle the taxiway nodes. Ha 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 ha. Hee hee. Okay, we got all that stuff cleared out. So the question is, do we still have zones there? We do. So now, how do I get rid of them? Ah, delete room. There you go. Swell. Delete room. Yes. Delete room. Yes, I figured it out. All right, very good. Now, this thing here is what I'm, I, I want to offset space for. Now, I do want to leave space out here, like three or four tiles worth of, uh, of space. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so like four tiles worth of space. Three, four. Three, wait. One, two. Maybe we can leave three tiles of space. And then this is going to be one, two, three, 
before and then the wall here. That, I think, will help. I think that will help us. Alright, so one, two, three, four. Four. Do that there. Let's do um, this here, this across here, and then this over here like this. Uh, I'm going to change this to secure zone. And this is going to be secure zone. Okay, cool. All right, then we need some doors. Doo -doo. Yes, as oh nuts! <laughs> I dinked it up again. <laughs> Damn it! Anytime we we talk about doors, we have to um, we have to do that part. probably have those opening the opposite direction they should, but at this point I'm kind of, my gas level's getting a little low here. So, uh, bathroom. Okay, so now we can zone these for bathrooms. Zone. Okay. And four. So now we got a secure bathroom, a non-secure bathroom, Beautiful. Let's equip them. is going to be a female restroom. Open. It's going to be a male restroom. Open. It's going to be a female restroom. Open. It's going to be a male restroom. Open. Alrighty. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we got room over here. Uh, let's look at a large window. Boom. That's awesome. Let's put that in there. Some benches for the beaches. You just need a place to put your tushy. Over here, under seating. Uh, small size, low quality. We'll go with low quality. I know that's not, you know, maybe not the best to start with, but all right, how much room we got here? We got room for one, two, three, four. All right. You know what? No, I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it this way. Oh, you know what? Uh, yeah. No, cancel this. Hold it. Pause. I'm going to lay this out where I can screw around with it here and get it right. Um, okay. Low quality. Space. Space. The reason I want to do that is I want to put in... Garbage cans. As you know me, I like to have garbage cans all over the place. And we've got room here for decorations. This plant looks kind of nice. Let's put a plant. I like plants too. Plants are nice. Okay, so that puts that stuff there. So now we got some trash cans. Let's do a couple large size uh, seating areas. that way. I, 
this, I think, gives plenty of room to get around. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of... Yeah, yeah, stuff. All right, let's go back to... Uh, we're going to need some more staff. Airport staff. Anna Silva, she looks kind of pissy. All right, Magnus just so expensive. Kristen Toth is cheap. She is not good, good service. What is wrong with these people? All right, reject. Um, Gabriel, you got three reds, dude. You're gone. Piss off. I'm going to bring in a couple more people here. Ah, get new applications. And again, not to. Oh, wait. Anna's. She's not too bad. All right. She's got at least. She's got a little bit of everything. All right. So we'll hire her. Excuse me. And you got any application? She kind of sucks. Her, tech, her technical skill sucks. Magda, you're hired. All right. That gives us some people. What else? Ah, oh, we're going to need some janitors. Margaret looks pretty good. We'll hire Margaret. Teddy, Teddy Dimitrov. Really? Dimitrov. Teddy. Does that look like a Teddy to you? That's a little weird. Of course, I can't even freaking pronounce this guy's name. Sante? Sante? Uh, let's see if we can. Gabriel Roy. Gabriel Raw. Wa. We rejected. We rejected. We rejected. Oh, the Evans. Ten dollars an hour for that. Shh, hire him. All right, that should be enough of them. Let's see if we can get another security person in here. Jamal looks pretty good. He's kind of expensive though. Olga Ivanov. She's not too bad. She's very happy and manages stress fairly well. Take her. Alright, I guess I'll take Jamal. Need a couple more airport staff, I think. Oh, this dude looks good. Alright, that gives us some airport staff. I don't think we need... Did I hire another security agent, Marie Hansen? She doesn't look terribly happy, but she's competent and handles stress well. Jeff Williams is better, and just as cheap. We'll hire them too. Alright, so that gives us some staff. Alright, very good. So now, we're making some gauche here too. Now, we're going to accept flights on these two stands. We're going to turn off general aviation flights here and here. All right, so they're connected there, okay, and connected here, okay. Now, let me see if I can put a um, crosswalk. I don't know if I, have, if I have to deal with putting a crosswalk across there. I think it's okay. I think. Somebody tell me if I'm doing it wrong. There's a bunch of you watching. Somebody's got to play this. Come on. Come on, man. Uh, oh, staff areas. Wait a minute. Wait, no, because these are already... Show the zones. So there's there's zones, right? Um, I, it would be good to have an office place. Some office space for our executive types. So we need a... Um, office building area here, sort of, kind of, kind of, sort of. These roads are not working the way I intended them to work. Jerks. And why, why 
it. Um, wait a minute. Is it, there a research thing for that? Procurement. Let's see what we can procure here. Spam filter, av gas. Baggage handling service, 250,000. Yeah, no, 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 no. Shop upgrades, av gas. Unlocked. Night flights. $150,000 for night flights. Uh, maybe we'll consider that later. Stair truck. Compliment to any remote stand. Uh, we don't, we're not dealing with remote stands. Small pushback truck. Aircraft to be relocated. Medium class aircraft. We're not going to be dealing with medium class aircraft. Ah, you need crosswalks to get back. Thank you. Um, cargo and baggage hauling needs. Okay. Appreciate that, Equinox. Justin Corman, what's happening, buddy? How are you? Okay, so now. So this is a service road. So you're saying I need to build a crosswalk. It's not letting me. It must be placed on top of road. What, what am I... Am I missing a memo here? I know this is scope creep, but... I don't even know which way this is facing. <laughs> A couple of those there. Um, yeah. So, Equinox, how do I get this to work, dude? Allows people to cross roads. Got back from your trip. Cool, how was the trip? Next stand, okay, that's good. Remote stand, all right, stand connection. It is connected. So I think, I, I think that, isn't that okay as it is? I don't know what, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here. Is there a zone thing I'm not doing right? Um, so this is, staff has access. I've got the, I've got security going into the doorway. It's all secure area, right? I, I just got to uh, sign up some contracts. Uh, offer contracts. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some airplanes coming in here. Maple Air is always a good one. Stripe Air is good. Uh, following this contract, Galatians Airport. Air, okay. Um, this is basically it. we're gonna do some business. Let's get this first one looked at, and um, I think that's the flight schedule. Wait, no, it's flight planner. Here we go. Maple is offering some flights. Okay, cool. Maple 105, not scheduled. Okay, what do we need here? Uh, did, what, 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 freeze, hold it, because we can't go. Uh, it's only 18 people. Requested services. Damn it, why did we resume? Stop. Stop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you used to. Uh, they would like trash, and they would like maintenance. Okay, so we've got to enable that stuff. Uh, daily frequency. That's good. So it's got to be at least three hours. So we are going to bring them in at well, daily. Very nice. I like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. There's our first flight. Let's see how this shakes out. Next planner. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it. Full stop. Uh... Tab. 
I'm sure there's something I've not done correctly here. Operations. Baggage handling, ramp agent, jet A1, blah, 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 that's coming soon. Allow GA, good. Dead, dead, dead. That's good. Employee job tasks, vehicle job tasks. Construction, airport control panel, that's where we're at. Well, no, maybe we're good. Ramp agent service rounds. You know what? Okay, you need at least two ramp agents to service a single flight. Well, let's go hire some ramp agents, shall we? I think we shall. Pardon me. We have any great people on. All right, let's see. Kowalski. <laughs> this guy's one of the penguins from Madagascar. Uh, okay, who looks lousy? Oh, dude, it's got a good name. Uh, Gizem Yilmaz. Is she from Israel? Ankara, Turkey. Close. Where's Kowalski from? Probably Poland. Kelly's from Juneau, United States. All right, she's from Alaska. John Choi. Sandspit. Not sure where that is. And this guy's from somewhere I can't pronounce, which means you're rejected. <laughs> you're done. All right, let's just put this on normal speed here for a minute. Um, Kowalski just doesn't have much technical skill. I don't know if that's even a factor in the game yet. Um, three roll cold nights in the tent. Dude, man, yeah, it's... I don't know, the weather's pretty nice for that sort of thing down here right now. But uh, I'm just not much of a camper unless I get AC and internet and TV access. Depends on what's going on. Uh, let's see. Who else sucks here? Jung is cheap. We're going to reject him. Ah! Ahmed Mohammed. Okay, that means she is now the weakest link. Goodbye. Let's see if we can get some new applicants in here. Come on, get some new applicants. There we go. We'll stop. Natasha Ivanov. Nast Nastia. Nastia. This night was 33. Damn, that's chilling, dude. That's cold to be camping out in that crap. Okay. Can I get one more applicant, please? Nasty. Uh, she's. Let's just hire Kelly. That'll give us two. Right? And then we can uh, activate ramp services, ramp agent. Ramp agent. I, I thought I've got. Did I not turn it on? I thought I turned. Staff. I thought I hired two, two staff people. Staff over here. Airport staff. Ramp agents. No more ramp agents here. Ramp rats. Oh, I only got one. Ah, nuts. Okay, Kowalski, get in here. You're in the game. All right, back to the dashboard. Nope, back to operations. Enable. There you go. Swell. Okay, so now... Oh, it's winter. I was going to say everything turned white. What happened? <laughs> uh, all right, now we got people coming inside. This is good. Got new applications. This is good. Remote stand. Nope. Station airport staff two. Okay, there's two. I guess I need more staff. Uh, Kim Choi, you you look okay. 
You look expensive. You don't know what you're doing, though. You look okay. Uh, Kimberly Moore, you look okay. Let's bring you on board. And Anna Silva, she can't keep her wits about her. So let's see here. Now we should have more staff showing up. We got oh, we got a bunch of people coming in. This is good. This is good. I'm liking it. Uh, do I need to do connect airside airside shuttle bus stop? I shouldn't need that. Okay. All right. And that's a nice small uh, line. Security can push them through. That's good. Okay. All right. So maybe I need a staff room. Has there been any news with Sim Airport? You know what? They're ra they're ramping down their current development cycle, and it's like every day there's a change, and then there seems to be a ton of bugs. I'm just I'm waiting for this current development cycle to end. And then we'll, we'll revisit it and go from there. All right, these people want food, which is one thing this game does not do well compared to Sim Airport. All right, Sim Airport, you have vending machines. And that would be all you need here. Uh, or a kiosk. Kiosk would be nice and simple. Boom, problem solved. Uh, takes care of business. Now, you guys are saying that you're tired, but there's all kinds of seats, so go sit your butts down. I don't want to hear it. Okay? Simple. Um, I think what we could do is put an information desk. I don't want to put it right here in the middle because that's where I'm going to put an additional security line if we need it. I don't think we're going to need one anytime soon, but uh, you know what would work really nicely, I think, is if we maybe built the wall out here push the wall out and around this and put the desk there or something. That might work well. Otherwise, this might be a good place for information desk. I do have information screens over here. Uh, and we will actually go ahead and just put another piece, another set of information screens. People are hungry, though. Um, could put in a small cafe over here, I suppose. I'm trying to figure out where... Um, no flight scheduled. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we need to look at the flight plan. Uh, Maple Air's got another flight for us. What happened? So you have four daily flights. They they want they want maintenance. It's in route. Okay. Uh, I need to go back to the contracts. That's what I need to do. And that's going to be an economy offer contracts. Ooh, we got upgraded fuel people. Ooh. That's cheaper. I like it. That's more cheaper. Uh, ooh, Abbey Fuel. What's what the, ooh? They're even cheaper. So let's. Wanna, oh, I cancel the existing contract. So nature fuel, I would have to cancel the contract. So they're at a dollar forty-six per liter. So then we're going to go to offered contracts and look at Avi fuel, which is a dollar thirty-seven per liter. Sign that. All right, uh, let's get one more airline in here. CLM in here, okay? And then we'll see what they offer us on flights and get that rocking and rolling. So, 
Um, CLM. All right, very good. Wait, what just happened? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I think... Oh, now I see. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Very good. Oh, shoot. I've got vehicle problems here. Okay. My bad. Hold up. Full stop. Uh, we need to fix this stupid road issue. Making a loop apparently is too complicated for the game right now. Okay. Let's do that. And now we got a blinky blink. Okay, Maple Flight is on the ground. Hooray. People have come in. Hooray. They're waiting for buses. Hooray. All right. We have fuel coming out. Uh, it's not going to them. It's going somewhere else. All right. What are you people waiting for? It's 9, 10 a.m. What are we waiting on? What are we waiting on, people? Seriously. What the hell are we waiting on here? God. This is the thing. It's not intuitive. It doesn't tell you what's wrong. Fuel level's 20%. Inspection... Okay, it doesn't depart till 11 a.m. Maybe that's <clears throat> maybe that's part of the issue. So I want to make sure I've got enough airport staff to cover this, though. So let's go back over here to airport staff. And uh, airport staff. Okay, so these are all the... Damn! i got tons of airport staff. Why is nobody standing at the gates? Hmm? That would be something that I am... Color me baffled. All right, let's see if we got... Oh, we got offered a flight by CLM. Hooray. Excuse me. Pardon me. Um, uh, okay. So we're going to schedule this. It needs to be at least three hours. And... I don't want to overlap stuff. 8.32, we should be... It's three, well, if it's 8.32, then we shouldn't be able to schedule at 11.30, people. Get it together. All right, 12.30 is good. So we're going to do this stand on the 30s. Okay, cool. That's just one flight. Really? God. That's another thing that's kind of annoying, too. It's like one flight, boom, you're done. Oh, okay, thanks. Now, I can auto-schedule flights. Waiting on boarding agents. Yeah, I I thought that, too, but I'm like, well... Okay, here we go. Now we got people here. Now, okay, now here comes people. Okay, they're boarding the airplane. Hooray! <laughs> okay, we are up and running, boys and girls. This is good stuff. Let's make our runway look better. I mean, I think it will automatically. Woo! 30 meters per second, 58 knots. Damn. It's getting windy. All right, so we got our two fuel trucks. Now, do these, uh, these aircraft, these small ones, I think still just use uh, aviation gasoline. They don't use Jet A. Um, okay, so now we've got that. There's probably a more efficient way we can do this. Are people waiting on the... Oh, that's the ground crew. Sweet! They're servicing the aircraft. All right, awesome. Oh, it uses Jet A-1. Okay, so we're going to have to put in a Jet A-1... Uh, set up. Well, poop. Okay. Well, we can do that. We're just going to put it right over here. Uh, so I've got room for two more tanks for these guys. Although they didn't fill them for some reason. 
Request extra fuel. Heavy fuel. Okay, deep. Okay, good. All right, very good. All right, let's. Uh, I think we're gonna research Jet A1 now. Hundred thousand dollars. Ouch. And we just took a big hit on gas. Uh, let's go ahead and order a fuel truck. We only need one. Jet A fuel. Jet A one. Cargo and baggage handling. We don't need to deal with that. All right, we got our truck. Okay, cool. I think we're up there. All right, so let's look at building a medium sized Jetty 1 Depot. We're just going to go with the 1 Depot for now. And we'll set it up right across from here. All right, let's get that built. We got more flights offered up? I think we do. Holy crap. There we go. Alright, very good. Needs to be at least three hours in advance. Okay, so let's go the next day with it. Tuesday. We're going to go on the 30s. Alright, so uh, 6.30... Firm, and that should be for five days, right? Three, four, five. Yep, and then not on Sunday. Okay, good. Now this guy, this guy, we're going to bring in at 10.30. That's good for four days. And it looks like we got another CLM. Hey, all right, 14.30. Cool. Sweet. All right, let's see if Maple's offering us any more flights. They got three more flights on the schedule. All right, whatever. Uh... But this is good. We're going to make some cash. And we're going to be offering... What do we got here? Okay. Uh, we need some cash. Alright. Which means I need to go back here. Go to operations. A1. And there we go. Jet A1 enabled. Uh, oh, wait. Do I have a Jet A1 contract, or is that covered already? Oh, nope. It's full. We're good. Awesome. Okay. Sweet. Let's see if we got anything interesting in email. Welcome to the airport. Sweet for this, that, and the other. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Okay. Uh, the one thing we need to do here is look at setting up some... Okay. So I see a couple things we can do. I don't think we need another security line at, at present. We can expand this queue line a little bit more. Alright, so we'll, we'll expand that. Now, I think what we could do is possibly make a little extra space. Uh, I do want to add some food. And I do want to add... Alright, we're going to add some more terminal space here and then see what we can do. Terminal foundation. Go ahead and expand out to cover this next gate. Maybe expanding out this way. We'll see. I'm trying to keep this simple, though. I'm trying to keep it simple. But I want to create some uh, some space for uh, the people, for office people, and then some space for a cafe. I think uh, that's what we're going to want. Yeah, we got the we got yeah, so we got our fuel contracts covered. Okay. 
So, all right, getting some construction done here. I think what we'll do is because we have the extra distance out front here, is push out the front of the terminal here, just in this area, to give us more depth to turn these sideways so they face this way. And um, I think that'll help us out. And then at the end, we can you know, reclaim some space. Like where we got restrooms down here, we'll be able to reclaim some space for offices and whatnot. So we can get our executive types out of the weather. Because they look a little chilly out there. A little cold. Structure position not valid. Does that mean I've got to bulldoze? All that first. Demolish it. Um, let's go back in here and let's build a wall here. Let me come back and change that. And then, uh, oh, you're stuck. That's not good. Uh, this is going to be a secure area for now. And then we can demolish this wall. Okay, and then we need, uh, yeah, now you can get your way out. Rainstorm is incoming. No shit. That's what the weather is supposed to be tomorrow. Dallas, Fort Worth. Okay, so now that's done over there, so I think we can come back with Terminal Foundation. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, how much space are they taking up right now? Let's do that for now. Of course, this idiot got stuck back here again. I'm not sure how that keeps happening. One moron gets stuck. Okay, and then we're going to take this. And then we're going to do some doors. <laughs> yes, I know. It's goofy, but why not? Why not, my not? Okay, there. And then, um, information screens. Hopefully, they're just going to take down the information screens. Okay, that made that look good. All right, cool. Cool. All right, so now, where are we? Oh, we're into um, afternoon. So we need to keep this up. At, whoops. Let's do that. We need to uh, see if we got more flights. I think we got more flights. Maple has offered us more flights. Hooray. Pause. All right, Maple. Come in from Gulfport, Biloxi. Let's go ahead and put this on the schedule for the next day. Uh, oh, we don't have anything that early. All right, so uh, let's do it noon. Okay, and then this flight will do it 4 p.m. Well, now let's back it up. CLM got some more. Ooh, yeah, CLM is working it. Uh, that's for two. That's two. Single flight, 1830. Confirm. Look at the weekend. Yeah, see, they got an opening on the weekend here. Let's go for 9 30, 10 30 there. And then we'll put this one on the 1830 twink. And then back to Sunday. Put you in the Sunday morning 06 30 spot. What's the O stand for? Oh my god, it's early. Maple does not have any new. Okay, cool. More flights. We're going to make money. Money, money, money. Okay, am I missing something here? 
Does it current season winter, but it's 89.2 degrees Fahrenheit? It must be Texas, right? <laughs> there are things known and things unknown, right? Yes. This ice true. Okay. Let's get through to the now. If I do this, I can close it, and then I guess I can demolish it. I'm not going to deal with that just yet. All right. So you, what are you wanting? Satisfaction. I'm satisfied. Okay. Good. So we got security over here. We still need some office space for our office types. So let's. Um, yeah. So we can always reconfigure those to reduce the depth once we reposition it over here. Let's go ahead and put our. that there. Put that there. A couple of garbage bins here. So now we got additional seating. For the peeps, put a garbage bin outside the doors of the bathrooms. Well, there's a trash can there. Uh, there's plenty of room over here, so we'll put a trash can. Okay, we seem to be getting people in and out. Did we get offered some more flights? No. Okay. All right, this is looking good at this point. Not making money, but I, well, I think we are making money. We're up to 325. I, I think we are squeaking things up. Average airport satisfaction, this is good. Still need to work on some space for the staff. Uh, it's 6.59 p.m. Okay, there's 7 p.m. I don't think we got another flight coming in tonight. All right, let's... Um, check-in desk, and let's um, keep this other check-in. Oh, at least our, our staff people have come in from out of the cold. <laughs> We're going to that's what we need right there check-in desk put that there put that there let's get those built go all right Ah, Maple offered us another flight. Awesome. It's a single, but we'll take it. Maybe it's three hours in advance. Okay, that's fine. Let's move to Wednesday. Let's move to Saturday. But this is a Saturday night, Saturday evening flight. Now, I think I've got to do some stupid uh, procurement stuff to do night flights. Now, oh, what this is... I don't know when this is... Um, is that like overnight flights, or is it just kind of general hour? I mean, because we're not terribly overnight on our flights right now. Alright. Oh, that we are into the down period, so I can get rid of... Close that. Open this. Okay. It, okay. Uh, yeah. Check-in desk. All right. Let's get that squared away. What are we getting? We get another flight offer. Oh, you know what? I'm. I do not trust. Okay, this is Wednesday.
lights. All right, it, it, er, 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 there we go, 1800, confirm. There we go. Now, CLM is not offering any more flights at the moment, so we're looking good. All righty, I'm liking it. Then if we get another, if we set up another gate, we can always um, put them on the odd hours. So we'll have Maple on the evens, CLM on the bottom of the even hours, and then we have another airplane come in. You know, that way it won't tie up the runway too much. Uh, keeps our spacing good. And good show. All right. There's that. Okay. So now let me pause this for a second and go to the queue line. Okay, cool. All right. Then we do this one. Same deal. those all right we got those set up that looks much better now um, I don't like this setup here so we're going to demolish those two doors rebuild the wall and we're just going to set up one door right here so it's going to be kind of straight up you know. uh, all right so we need some staff space set that up down here I think and then I need a door there. sorry okay that fixed that now let's pause here for a second because we can make a couple of changes here that would make a lot of sense um, Put a large door right there. That would make sense. The bus stop doesn't have a whole lot of room here. We could push that wall out a couple of tiles, though. Give us a little more room. We don't really need it, but... Um, and then security, that's kind of good right there. Although we could flare things out here a bit. give ourselves a little more breathing room. I think we're okay for now. Let's just seal that wall up there. Alright, we've got some staff space over here. Desks. No, staff. Staff office desks. Must be inside a staff room. Oh, this is staff room. So now that I've zoned this for staff, now it's a staff room. All right, everybody's coming in. Everybody's happy. So now we're just going to put some desks in here. One, two, three, four. Now we'll put a couple more over here. Five, six. And then we'll put in some, some seating. Yeah, give people somewhere to sit down if they're not working. And put up a couple of a couple of tables. I'm not sure what you guys are like bitching about now. It should be good. Laptop table, armchairs. So we need. Chairs. We need chairs. Put in some, uh, put in another sofa over here. Okay. 
I think we are about to have this figured out. With the staff we have and everything. We've got room for people to put their butts. We've got airplanes on the ground. We've got flights being offered. This is good. Uh, let's see where we've got an opening that we can put in a CLM flight. Alright, we're going at 18.30. And then we got room for a maple flight. That'll go here at 1600. Ah, that's what I needed. Right there. A min minimum flight separation of an hour. So now I can set up the auto scheduler. Okay. Let's do that. Now we now because I didn't realize that was there. Okay, because they were always packing stuff on too tight, I think. Alright, sweet. Now I don't like whoa, what how the hell did that guy wind up way back there? That's a late flight. But okay, I guess. That's a recurring flight, too. Well, whatever. As long as you're paying me, I'll take it. Again, it's winter, and it's 86 degrees. It must be Texas. Air, offered aircraft size ratio. Okay. This is, I think we're looking pretty good here. Now, I'm not seeing the opportunity to um, build, um, I think we're going to need a couple more staff. Let's go get some more staff. More staff. You look reasonable, you look neat and reasonable. Okay, cool. Uh, and then let's look at uh, ground crew, ramp agents. We want service technicians too. Dude, you know what you're doing. And you know what you're doing. Let's hire them too. Service technicians and then ramp agents. A couple more ramp agents. Um, Chloe, technical is not too good. Nobody's very good technical. Nastya Ivanov. She's got good stuff here, as does Janik Schmidt. And then Germany. The American had Hundekuden and Natasha. They can't get to desks because the seating positions are against the wall. Oh, oh really? Driving backwards? Oh, I sure do. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay. <laughs> okay, do I need to put chairs with the desks, or did I? Is that overkill? Do I have Scarlet overkill going here? <laughs> Idiot! Hey, look which way the computer terminal is facing. A train. Duh. <laughs> Doofus. All right, let me get this. Oh, there is a chair there. All right, so we don't need these chairs. All right, move your butts. Let's get all that stuff out of the way, and I will correct. I, I will fix this. <laughs> uh, office desk. Yes, please. Now, okay, now I got these facing in the right direction. Good. Boom. Did I not? I, I could have sworn I set this up. Okay. Get rid of those. Now maybe I've got it straight. <laughs> Desk come with chairs. <laughs> Thanks, Equinox. <laughs> Double dumbass on me. 
All right, uh, let's put a little more seating in here, shall we? I think we shall. Now, let's put... Uh, All right, uh, that should cover plenty of staff, cover plenty of people. Everybody should have, like, computer terminals and all that crap. There we go. Let's, uh, put a garbage bin in here. Let's put it there. Got room for another desk here if we need. We've got room for another desk here if we need. Okay. No room for coffee machines or anything, but. Alright, so a cafe counter. Alright, so uh, we need a research food room. So that's going to be under economy and procurement and food franchises. Let's unlock that. That's going to take a little and it's going to take 150000 for night flights. I like the night flight, baby. Be -de -be, she says. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see here. Spam filter, that's unlocked. Blah, 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 blah. Pull from his truck. Cargo and baggage all he needs. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think we're good for here. Uh, those are all good. Wait, what is this? Vehicle. Assign this vehicle to a specific depot. Oh, that's nice. That's something this this game does a little better than uh, Sim Airport 2 is the vehicle depot thing, as opposed to the vehicle hangers. I, I think uh, it's handled a little bit better. All right, that office looks a little busy, but looks good. Uh, you know what we could do here? We could put some windows. Let's see. I'll we'll take this. Wow, that zoinks. Looks perfect. Fits. Now, uh, let's look at putting some cafe space in here, shall we? I think we shall. Because I should have this um, about research. Oh, wait. Now, why is this? Wow, we got 2 a.m. flights. Okay. Hey, whatever makes us money. Make money, money, make money, money, money. It's cool with me. I'm good with that. I think I think we've got sufficient amount of security. What what the hell is all these people sitting over here? Are these workers? They are. He's a traveler. He's a traveler. Okay. I guess I could put another bench over there. That would be kind of sweet. Let's see. Uh, not this. Let's not be stupid and put it backwards. Put it here. And we'll put it. Food franchises. All right, sweet. Now we can deal with that. Cool. Let's put that there. And then uh, let's uh, let's beautify the place up a little bit. Small size, high quality decorate. Oh, that's Christmas stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna screw around with that. Let's put a couple plants in here. That cool. Let's put one more. I like that one. Put that there. Awesome. Lots of places for butts. Right. And, um, yeah, I, it does look like I could use an information board back in here. Uh, let's, so let's, let's deal with that. Looks like a really, that looks like a good place for a stick up. Sweet. Put that there, and then we're going to build some cafe space over here, I think. Uh, cart before the horse, maybe. Let's go to economy and let's go to offered contracts. So we do not have any food uh, spaces. Procurement, I do have. Food franchises are unlocked. Uh, we could. 
I don't want to screw with this yet. Do I, do I need to deal with this yet? Night flights are scheduling night flights, so... kind of want to kind of want to start upgrading these pads to uh, asphalt because I don't like the grass I want it to look legit that's just going to be expensive though Excuse me. Alright. Uh, so we got pretty good little airport, airport going right about here. Now, we can... Obviously, if I look at uh, upgrading... The, you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and upgrade this stand. Asphalt, I think. Okay. Let's go ahead and repair it while we're at it. Okay, and we can start looking at maybe adding another airline over here. We need to put in another Hoopa Joop, right? Or do we? Maybe we don't. Let's, we'll need a door. Right there. Okay, and then that'll have to be made secure area. Like that. Alright, I think that handles it. Yep, that's handled. Alright, very good. There's a large door. Good. Alright. I think we need two more ramp rats. How many ramp rats do we have? Yeah, we only got two. So let's see what we can do here. Chloe, you're cheap. And Ahmed will hire you. You get out of line, though, buddy. I'm coming after you. Alright, that'll give us four ramp rats. Sweet. Okay. So now... We're going to need a boarding desk. that right here I think okay and then I think we can throw some seating in here like this now I don't uh, well yeah it's gonna have to go like that or I can do low quality seating Five seats per. That's plenty. Cover this gate. All right. As soon as this aircraft, uh, we're going to switch this over to commercial. Accepts GA. Uh, we're going to turn off GA. Refueling complete. Maintenance not requested. Okay. And we're going to look to sign a contract with another airline, I think. So let's go to the economy. Offered contracts. Who do we want here? Stripe Air. That's who I want. Do, 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 do. All right. And the auto scheduler should take care of that. Cool. Uh, we 
may need a couple more airport staff for that. I may not. Airport staff. What the hell is that? <laughs> All right, so we've got, uh, I, I think we've got plenty of people here. Is that 11 people? So they're going to be working these two desks here, which you got to have at least one person each. Uh, I don't have an information desk. We need at least one person on each of these. I think we're good. All right, so now let's look at this cafe deal. Uh, and if I have to do another check-in desk, we've got room for that right here. Check-in desk. Spring is here. Yay. Because Texas. Stripe Air. We're getting some flights in on Stripe Air. Not yet off. Okay. That's fine. I would rather CLM. Huh. Can I assign the stands to... You know what? It doesn't matter. Small enough setup. You guys do whatever. Uh, stand upgrades. No. Connect baggage. We don't have. No, 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 no. Okay. This guy is going to have to get off of here. And so let's figure out this. Um, Dealy bop. Uh, let's add a little bit of terminal foundation here. Let's get that added. Rudy. Ah, oh, bye bye. Go to school tomorrow. Have a good night. Appreciate you being here, Rudy. Take care. We'll see you next time. Concession contracts don't get offered until you build out space. They appear. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Right. Employee can't find a staff room. What the hell room can't they find? Oh, that's going to be this deal here, I think. All right, dude, work your way out of there. There you go. Oh, wait. There, there you go. Now, will this guy not leave because... I do want to get rid of him. I just don't know if he has departed yet. Or if he's... What time is he leaving? Oh, he's leaving at 6.10 a.m. Okay, good. So he's out of here. Lost. All right, cool. All right. That's good stuff. This. They cannot be assigned exclusivity. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, but we'll deal with it. Okay, uh, so with that, let's see. Now we've got room here. I think we can set up a... Food set up like that's a pretty good amount of space I think right so there's some space okay yeah I know you guys are hungry I get it I'm working on that so shut it um, now let's kick over here and go to the economy and see if we're offered a contract for food yet I guess we got to build out a little bit more or it's just a matter of waiting it may just be a matter of waiting that's okay um, I think we've got enough space there for you know something small cafe counter and a display fridge Go 
this way. Facing. The pie is on the top shelf or the bottom shelf? Ah, right, right click. Oh, that's right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Franchises are unlocked. Okay, so we should get something at some point. Just a matter of getting there. I would think I've got enough space there. Just in case we don't, let's look at uh, adding in some additional space here. Uh, the other thing I want to do is kind of carry this fence over. saw a message there. Hey, airport satisfaction is up. It's good. Aha, your newly acquired fruit fr franchises have been processed. Oh, okay, so maybe I just hadn't gotten it done yet. So now, employee can't find, oh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, of course, because you clowns blocked yourselves in. your way. The only way you know how. Alright. Uh, right click. Wait. He's still offering us contracts. You suck. I do have the staff for it. I have a procurement director. that area and then uh, room is too small well, okay I did this earlier ah there we go uh, okay food room sign oh sign contract there we go here we go here we go Okay, that doesn't match, that doesn't match, that doesn't match. Nobody likes the space. Oh, we just got to add a cafe counter and a cafe fridge. Okay, that's cool. Uh, the space is not big enough for them or them. It is big enough for the Hilltop Cafe. We need a cafe fridge and a cafe counter. All right, very good. Uh, okay, we are now ready to rock and roll. Cafe, cafe, f display fridge and cafe counter. Okay, let's put... give this a little bit more space just to cover okay delete the room yes we're going to delete the room now we're just going to make a little adjustment ba -da -ba -da -ba -da I want to go to here now 10 by 9 I could go 11 by 9 the space. They don't. Alright, so we're still looking at Hilltop Cafe, and we need the fridge and the counter. Okay, very good. Uh, 
you. Cafe counter. There. And display fridge. And we can put that. I guess I can put it wherever the hell I want. I guess this will do. Which which part is the top? Are the pies on the bottom or are the pies on the top? What do you guys think? Which... which I, just can't, I can't get a feel for which way this is facing. Oh, wait. It's easier to see out here. So shadows are at the, I would think the pie is at the top. There, cafe fridge. All right, fine. Uh, pies are at the top. All right, we're on the same page there. Awesome, thanks, bud. Tables and chairs in here. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. So that, now we need to sign a contract for Hilltop Cafe. Right. You are set. Hilltop Cafe. Ta da! Awesome. Staff en route. Very good. When staff gets there, they'll open it up. Uh, let's do this. Let's go into terminal. That's kind of what I want right there. Kind of like a parquet floor. Yeah, that looks nice. All right. Okay, we got staff. We got people. Eating, drinking, being happy. Hooray. Low quality. Fancy. Okay, it's not too bad. Do a little flooring here and there. Oh wait, I guess the staff people might like high quality flooring in their office, right? Let's do that there. And then, um, yeah, I kind of like the blue mat floor. That's good. Blue mat is good. Nice. Good color. I like it. Yeah. Now, let's see if we can mix it up a little bit, though, so it's not too crazy. Um, 
Uh oh. like that. It's kind of that industrial area as opposed to the waiting areas. No, I think that's good. That'll do. All right, now we got some flooring. Let's put in some seating. And uh, people have a franchise will have their own staff. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Equinox, you're a big help, bud. Appreciate you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, okay, let's go back over here to this, and let's set up some seating. And we can put some chairs around that. There. And low quality. There, there. One, two, three, four. We'll take one, two, three, four. Two, one, two, three, four. And, and now they'll figure it out. Cool. All right. Uh, garbage can might be good. Put that at the end. Uh, let's put a trash can along here somewhere. Looks like a good spot. Spot two. Good spot. And right there ish. Alright, cool. I'm digging it. Digging our little airport here, gang. What do y'all think? Put some uh, put some seating right here. Can't put any out front there. Tie up any space there. We can put one more row, maybe of this. It puts it right across from security. I'm not. I'm trying to leave plenty of room here. Uh, we got room for a couple more rows over here, which I don't think we're going to need, but we're going to build anyway, just for sake of having it. I think we'll, uh, you know, uh, maybe a laptop table. I'll table place chairs next to. I don't think we're going to get that fancy. No. Not here. That there. That there. I'll need to keep that space open. Looking good. All right. Yeah, thanks, bud. Appreciate that. All right, we got flights, three different airlines coming in. Yep, 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 277. I think Dallas Love Field is starting to, to come along here. So we just got our little small stands here. So it's basically little charter lines and stuff, charter flights and, and what have you. Let's back out and watch airplanes take off and land here for a bit, shall we? Hell, it's overnight hours. We're making, we got planes taking off and landing. Okay, this doesn't look terribly impressive. <laughs> Average airport satisfaction. Hey, Justin, thanks. 100% uh, passenger satisfaction. Airlines are at 25. GA's at 50. Okay. That's not too bad. Airlines would be happier. I'm just, it'd be great if it... Oh. Passengers and employees cannot be transported to from your airport. Let's fix that. Let's put in a 
Um, yeah, over here. Need this. Subway comes up here. Yeah, it's a little goofy. I think we need to put like sidewalks. Sidewalk. Well, of course, it frickin' goes... Really? Idiot. Uh, yeah. You guys just totally built that. We'll target that for demolition. Demolish. And then we're going to put a cross... Ooh. I put that right there. Coolio. Ah, uh, do we need another bus stop? Maybe. Not possibly. Throw a bus stop in there. Throw some uh, throw some sidewalk in here. And uh, yeah, I think this is uh, this is looking pretty righteous. There and put a car stop. Oh, oops. Hold it. Pause. Don't start building that yet. There we go. That's because uh, it has its own attached stuff. It's like, hey, kind of got to fool around with this and figure it out. All right, car stops. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Bus stops here. Yeah. Subways in. Uh, I think it's going to make people happier. Rock and roll. Let's go. It's more efficient than Dart. <laughs> Dart at Love Field sucks. Because you got, like, the train stations all the way over on the other side of Denton Drive. And then you got to catch a shuttle bus into the terminal. So it's kind of stupid. But, uh, what do you do? Okay. Ow. That would be my knee that is all janked up there. Cool beans. Watch airplanes here for a minute, and uh, I think we're going to wrap things up for the evening. Looks like people are coming out of the subway. I, I love this. This is a neat feature that I think is much better than uh, the, the, these, these things are, I think, better than uh, Sim Airport. It gives you a lot more flexibility. So I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, let's see if we go here. Alright, airlines are still at 25%. What would make the airlines happier? What would make the airlines happier? What could I do? Aircraft data, passenger data, staff data, incident data, economy data. I'm sure if I offered baggage, that would that would make them happier. Um, oof, care. Got lots of planes backing up here. It's okay. We're working it. So this is a nice little, I think, uh, way to start our Dallas Love Field. Now we're, we're working the right direction here. Our Hilltop Cafe. Staff is en route. Oh, it was closed for that time period. Why was it closed? Why are there two people on duty and it was closed? Just send somebody on break. Do, do, do. Okay, we got buses dropping people off, picking people up. We got bathrooms. This is good. Planes coming and going. Yep, yep, yep. All right. 
Guys, you got any questions here on uh, Airport CEO? Does it look interesting? Have you enjoyed the uh, episode? If you have, please give us a like. We are on our way to getting Love Field built. I'm going to start making some money regularly. Now we've got some cash coming in. Look at that, 3700 an hour. And then it goes the other direction. Oh, that's not good. So, uh, our scheduling looks good, though. Do I need multiple fuel trucks? Do I need more ramp agents? I wonder if I need more ramp rats. I only have one Jet A truck. Got plenty of fuel there. Plenty of fuel there. anything I need to add or if I'm doing okay here Let's go back over here to the dashboard general aviation is at 50 percent bus stop or so well now wait a minute we do have bus stops and we do have um, that's a dumb notification we have two bus stops and we have a subway entrance Obviously, that's working. That is working. Uh, we could do, I don't know if anybody's going to care. there. Put those there. Kind of light things up a little bit. I don't have any lights over on this bus stop side. Let's see here. Got some bus stop shelters here. Again, I still can't really tell which way is which. Sidewalk in there. All right. Okay. Wow, lots of airplanes on the ramp right now. Awesome. The planes. The planes overnight. That's more money. They overnight. Something that. Uh, some airport needs to correct or add is uh, aircraft overnighting. <laughs> Need more revenue streams since they janked us out of half of our fuel. Okay. I think more. Cool. Pardon me. That'd be cool if they had outdoor lighting here. 
better job of lighting up the ramp. Maybe this, maybe you can do that with this. Now there's lighting on the ramp. Okay. Hundred ninety-four thousand, I think, is more money than we had. I think we had one seventy-seven, didn't we? All right, Equinox, thanks for your help, bud. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming around. And uh, everybody else, yeah, I think uh, I think that's going to wrap things up uh, for this episode of Airport CEO, now available on Steam. Link in the description below. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. Share it with your friends. Let them know about the channel. Let them know about Airport CEO. Uh, Tycoon game. If you play Sim Airport, this is uh, as I've... Oh, wait a minute. We've got a broken sink. Hold, please. I may need uh, a service technician. Staff over... Oh, I've got a couple service technicians. Do I have enough janitors? How many janitors do I have? I only have two. Let's get a couple more janitors. Borislav Ibrahimovic. He's a hockey, a soccer, a football player. Ibrahimovic. He's really good. He played for Manchester United. I don't know if he still does. I think now he's playing with the uh, LA Galaxy. I think. Could be wrong about that. Uh, this guy. She's cheap. janitors executives ramp agents security oh I may need more ramp at, ramp rats uh, you know what I think their skills aren't going to matter a whole lot but let's you have no green although higher levels here than some people do here. Bring you in and bring Where's this guy from? Glendive. In Germany. Okay. The urinal's broken. All right, so we've got stuff that's getting broken. And so I think we need... We've got service technicians. Aren't the, Isn't that what they do? Don't they fix stuff? Who fixes stuff? Got janitors. Ramp rats. We could use another ramp rat. Wait, these are the... Yeah, we could use another ramp rat. All right, Yannick, you're on. Okay. And, uh... Four janitors. Resting, working, resting, working. Okay. Okay, everything looks like it's getting fixed. Somebody wants to go shop. So I would have to, I'd really have to put some space in here for shopping. And I, I just don't think I'm going to do that. Don't think I want to deal with that. So we're going to ignore that request. Request denied. Request disapproved. Resubmit in 30 days for final disapproval. Um, off on upgrading the stands too. Oh, you know what I can do though? Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's put asphalt under here. There we go. Unfortunately, I can't do it under here. I can't do it under 
here. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. All right, we got the toilet situation figured out. We got a little more staff on, uh, which is going to cost us a little more money, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, and then I guess we could mess with our bees. Um, landing aircraft, medium aircraft landing for you. Could light aircraft. Broken needs to be repaired. Medium stand parking. Jet. Uh, let's try to make a little more money off gas. Uh, you gotta be able to take these fees up. I think. Okay. Take those up. Passenger handling fees. Let's go to twenty dollars. Okay. Let's see how that works for us. See if we make some more money. All right. Zoom. Five hundred dollars. And then. Uh, Let's see, there's there's the uh, light, uh, small stand parking. $100. Okay, maybe we'll make some more money. There's got to be a way to break even and, and make more money. You should be able to take those fees up. Um, so, hopefully this will work out for us here. Keep making money. That would be good. That would be good. Okay, gang. So yeah, let's um, let's call it a night. There, toilet's broken. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's fine. Let's. Okay, there. You saw the guy. Okay, so, yep. You saw the workman went and fixed it, and somebody just turned around and used it. Very good. All right, good show guys are loitering in the bathroom. That's a little bit weird. I guess I can throw a uh, garbage can there. Good place for it. Stick up. Decorative plants there. Windows in around here, like that. Can't quite do it there yet. Uh, we'll figure those out as we get closer to a uh, time when those will be appropriate. Okay, cool. Something needs to be fixed. Something's getting fixed. There, it's fixed. All right, janitors are janitoring. Awesome. I like it. There's a window. Cool beans. All right, so a little detail stuff here and there. You know, just trying to learn the you know little things about the game. Passengers are good. Airlines are good. General aviation are good. Well, general airlines are 25 percent, but uh, I'm not really sure how to fix that. Not sure how to fix that at this point. Probably baggage uh, would be good. But uh, we'll look at. We're not going to deal with that till we build the main terminal. 
continue to expand this terminal until we have six gates. And um, that'll match up pretty nicely with uh, this little section of Love Field that's to the left down near the bottom of uh, runway 31 left. I think that'll uh, match that up nicely. We'll continue upgrading stands. We're making money. This is good. Liking it. We add more flights, we'll be able to make more money, obviously. And we'll uh, we'll go from there. So, gang, again, I appreciate you tuning in. We've had a couple, three hours here. Of, oh, there was a big, oh, contract was completed. $5,900. Cha-ching. Sweet. Making like $7,000, $8,000 an hour. I like it. That, that was a good hour. <laughs> a nice chunk of change that hour. Sweetness. All right. My notifications are all over the place here. Anyway, so uh, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you being here. Uh, everybody being on board. And uh, make sure to give us a like. Share with your friends. Let them know about the Airport CEO. Now available in early access on Steam. Link in the description below. Let them know about the channel. Word of mouth is the best form of marketing known to mankind. It's free. And uh, you guys are awesome for being on board. I uh, appreciate it. And um, hope you'll help us continue growing the channel. We're almost 500 subscribers. When I hit that number, blast through it and press on for 1,000. That'll be our next big target. Um, and uh, who knows? I, maybe I'll try giving something away. I don't know. Let's we'll see if the developers will actually hook us up. Hey, give us a free copy of the game. Let me give that away for you. So um, we'll see how that shakes out. Rattle, shake the trees a little bit, see what we can get. So uh, thanks for being here, gang. Appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel for more great content coming soon. Also, kick over to patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com, patreon.com slash A underscore train. That's A underscore train. Become a patron of the channel for exclusive content. And um, we appreciate your support. Uh, thanks again for being here. Deluxe, uh, we'll see you around. Deluxe 1809, thank you. Equinox, appreciate all your help. Justin Corman, good seeing you. Rudy's already gone. And anybody else who I may have missed. Thanks for being here. Hope you have a great day, night, morning, evening, no matter where you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train, it's over. And I'm out. <laughs>